Hey everyone, Effie here. Today I made this card using our nesting peony stamp set for our summer kickoff design team block hop. So I started off by stamping this beautiful peony tree cluster image onto some watercolor paper and I'm going to stamp this image around the border of this panel. I'm using our Noir dye black ink, which is archival, which means that you can watercolor over this ink and the ink will not smudge or blend or anything. It'll stay nice and crisp and clean. So I use my Misty to help stamp the two corners and then I'm just gonna put the stamp on an acrylic block and stamp the rest of the open or empty areas. Once I finish stamping the entire panel or the edges of my panel, I'm just going to take a number 16 Filbert paintbrush to apply a clean wash of water onto my panel because I'm going to be doing some wet and wet watercoloring. Wet and wet watercoloring, all that means is that you're applying pigment to a wet area on your paper and then you're just gonna get a nice blend of color. To paint today, I am using my Dr. P.H. Martin's Radiant Liquid Watercolors. I'm using Alpine Rose. After I add my initial uh, pink dots of watercolor, I'm going to add a little bit of persimmon watercolor as well. I use my fine tip Pentel water brush to apply the dots of pigment and then I just kind of use the same brush to blend that color out just a tiny bit and if I needed a nicer blend or if I needed more of a blend I used my 16 filbert water brush which was already wet. Um, if you have another paintbrush uh, such as another aqua brush uh, in a medium, large tip, or fine tip. You can use that to blend your color out, but I wanted this process to go a little faster, so I just used my large filbert brush. Next, I applied the same technique to paint the leaves, which I used my sap green and juniper green liquid watercolors by uh, the same brand. Next, I expedited the drying process by using my heat gun and I applied heat to the entire panel. Then I took the largest die from our double stitch rectangles large die collection to add stitching to the edges of my panel at the same time creating an A2 size panel, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I used our strong double-sided adhesive sheets, which I cut into strips and I applied them behind my panel and then I mounted that watercolored painted panel onto a top folding A2 card base. Then I white heat embossed my sentiment from the same nesting peony set onto some black cardstock. And then I created a coordinating gold strip. Uh, this is gonna go behind my black sentiment strip. It's just gonna be a nice gold accent. And that was created using our ribbed soft gold adhesive paper. Once I completed my sentiment strip, I just mounted it right onto my panel using some dimensional foam tape. Then I stamped the three adorable chickadee uh, stamps from the nesting peony set onto watercolor paper. And I just kind of added a tiny bit of color. I'm using a combination of persimmon and saddle brown. All these watercolors are from the liquid uh, radiant watercolor set A from that collection. Once I finished painting my chickadees, I dried them and then I die cut the three birds using the coordinating dies. Next, I mounted the chickadees using foam squares onto my card and I just had two kind of nestled together and then one off to the side. Then for my final step, I embellished my card using our gold medallion sequins in our mix sizes. So that completes my card for today. I hope you all will stop by the blog to start hopping along our summer kickoff blog hop and leave a comment on each stop because you have a chance to win a stamp set from each stop on the hop. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because I update it almost weekly. So thanks so much for stopping by. I will see you all next time.